It's raining outside, it's warm, it's muggy, making it a perfect day to talk about the humidity inside a safe like this. In particular, I want to examine this product. It's the Goldenrod. Many of you already know what it is just by looking at it because it's been around for decades. You'll see these actually inside display cases in museums. They are designed to reduce the humidity inside an enclosed container by raising the temperature of the air. All it is is a heating element inside this tube. You plug it in, put it in place, and let it go. And that's all you need to do. We already know that it works, but what I was surprised to find is how fast it works. I locked a camera inside facing this hygrometer, and I saw just how effective something like this is in a safe. We're gonna get right to that right now. Monitoring the humidity in your safe is easy with a hygrometer like this one. It's only about $8 and it'll tell you how good a job you're doing protecting your firearms. According to many experts, the goal is to keep your guns between 45 and 55% relative humidity. Higher than that increases your chance of rust and lower than that can dry out wooden stocks and grip panels. After leaving my safe open for a whole day, the starting humidity is 60%. Comfortable for a person, but too high for my guns. What surprised me is that it only took about three and a half hours to scrub 5% off that figure and achieve my goal range. That means that even if you open your safe a few times a day, a goldenrod can keep up as long as the starting humidity doesn't climb above 60%. Remember, it took a whole day with the door open for that to happen in the first place. Short excursions into your safe might not even register on the hygrometer. One thing I noticed is that the relative humidity bounced around a bit, probably as a result of the microcurrents created by the goldenrods sorting themselves out. In less than 12 hours total, my safe dropped a full 9%, where it leveled off and eventually stopped at 50% humidity. Nothing else happened in 24 hours, though, as the low reading on the hygrometer shows, I've obviously gotten a relative humidity down to 46% during periods where I didn't open a door that much. In that same period of time, the temperature rose about 2.5 degrees. Not a whole lot really, but enough to get the job done. I've read a lot of myth about golden rods and how they don't actually remove the moisture from the air, and that's completely true. I shut this door, all the moisture that's in the safe when I shut it is going to still be there when I open it. But all we care about is relative humidity, because if the humidity doesn't hit the sensor in your hygrometer, it's not going to be hitting your guns. It's going to be hitting it in whatever the percentage is that it's showing up. It doesn't matter if you're getting that relative humidity by warming the air like the goldenrod or by actually absorbing the moisture using a desiccant. It's exactly the same effect, exactly the same, no difference. This is the 18 inch version. You can actually get them down to 12 inches and all the way up to 36 inches. But I had read a lot of reviews and people were saying that even a 12 inch version keeps the humidity down in a safe as big as this fat boy pretty well. I still went with the 18 inch version because there's really not that much of a price difference between them all. You're really talking about the wattage. It's about a watt per inch. So this is about 18 watts of power being drawn at all times. I think that's a good compromise. Plus, again, I move this out of the way all the time to access stuff in the safe. And having this 18 inch is certainly easier to get around than the 36 inch one that would probably fit in this safe. There really isn't an installation process. You just plug it in. And this safe already came with that power outlet wired up, but your safe doesn't already have to be that way. All you have to do is find a place that you can access from a side and drill a hole through your safe. Yes, that's exactly what they do to install those and install your outlet kit, plug it into a power outlet somewhere on your wall, and you're good to go for this and anything else you want to power like this awesome light kit that I put together. But now, this is gonna heat up to about 180 degrees, I think. So it's gonna be warm enough, it's not gonna be comfortable to touch, but it's not gonna burn you if you bump it. It's not, it's not gonna blister you. You do want to make sure that you keep it away from products that you don't want to dry out too much because obviously the air right around it will be much drier than the humidity level in the whole safe. So it's suggested you keep it away from Woodstock firearms like this Henry original. So I just have this here <laughs> as an example. I'm not going to store these together like this, but it does come with these 
plastic brackets to keep it off of the floor as I have it placed. I'm really not installing it, though you can actually use screws and if you wanted to, you can put it on the side or something like that. But I prefer keeping it loose because I, if I need to get someplace, I don't want to be bumping into it all the time. I can just move it out of my way and, and put it back. No worries. This is a Goldenrod Original. It's still made in the U.S. It still has a lifetime warranty. The parent company of Goldenrod now actually makes some rebranded versions of these in China and sells them with a one-year warranty to save you a few bucks. I don't think it's worth it, which is why I've got a link to the original in the video description. The length that's going to work best for you is going to be influenced certainly by the volume of your safe, but also by the amount of humidity in the room that contains your safe and the frequency that you're going to open the door as well as how long you're going to keep the door open because this is a bit like a refrigerator when you have it open the air is going to be exchanging you're going to get humid air in and you're going to get that nice warm air out but this 18 incher works really really well for this fat boy with me opening this a couple times a day though i i don't leave it open for extended periods of time that all should influence the length of the golden rod that you go for be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.